Previously, we saw that we can actually take benzene, mix it with sulfur trioxide in the presence of sulfuric acid and undergo a sulfonation reaction in which the benzene ring, the aromaticity of the benzene ring is still preserved. We can actually also undergo a reaction known as nitration of benzene to form nitrobenzene as shown in this diagram. So basically, we take nitric acid and mix it with a bit of sulfuric acid. We place benzene inside that solution and we form via these four step mechanisms we form our nitrobenzene. So let's take a look at the following four steps in which we form our nitrobenzene while at the same time keeping our aromatic ring. So let's begin with step one. So as in any electrophilic substitution uh, reaction with benzene, we have to form our electrophile, our molecule that will act as the Lewis acid. So basically, we have our sulfuric acid that reacts with <coughs> with our nitric acid. And basically, the lone pair on, on the oxygen takes this H away from sulfuric acid to produce this molecule that now contains a good leaving group. So notice before we had the hydroxide, which is a very poor leaving group, and now we have the water, which is a good leaving group. And this will ensure the fact that this water will now leave, detach itself from this molecule forming our nitronium ion, our electrophile, the good Lewis acid. So basically in the second step, this relatively weak bond between the N and the oxygen breaks off and we form water as well as our electrophile, the nitronium ion. So this electrophile can now act as a Lewis acid and basically we, uh, react with our benzene. So one of our uh, pi bonds on the benzene now grabs this nitrogen. So the nitrogen now has an empty orbital and this filled orbital basically reacts with this empty orbital. So our Lewis acid and Lewis base react to form this resonance stabilized structure. So there are three different resin forms to this particular structure. And this positive sign is the local this charge is delocalized between this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon. And that is a stabilizing effect. Now, in the final step, we have to actually deprotonate our benzene molecule. We have to deprotonate our molecule on this carbon to form our pi bond, regenerating our aromatic ring. So in the final step, the aromatic benzene must be regenerated. So basically, this conjugate uh, base that was produced in the first reaction, our Lewis base, basically reacts with this H atom, taking that H atom away in the following fashion. So basically, this grabs our H and this regenerates our pi bond because we have a positive sign on this. So we have an empty orbital on that particular carbon. So basically, we reform, or uh, we reform, we generate our aromatic molecule in the process. We form a benzene molecule that has this NO2 group attached to one of our carbons. So basically, we substituted one of our H's for this NO2 molecule, and we also reform our acid sulfuric acid because this basically regains that H atom that it lost in our first step. So we see that in the nitration of benzene, if we use our nitric acid in the presence of sulfuric acid and we place benzene inside, we allow our nitration reaction to take place without actually, at the end at least, breaking that aromatic character of this benzene molecule.